right, this is Tina Howell and Belinda Campbell, and I'm interviewing Belinda for our 210th homecoming here at Zor. Belinda is married to Steve Campbell, and they've been a longtime Zor members and faithful members and give their time and talents always. So your first visit to Zor, Belinda, what year do you think it was? Uh, I believe it was in January of 1994. Okay, and was there a special reason you I'm came? I'm sorry, or? I'm sorry. January of 1996. That's, that's 1996. Okay. 1996. Okay. <laughs> and was there a special reason or an invite or what brought you to Zor? Um, we had moved here in January of 1994 from DeKalb County. And we were um, very active members at a church in DeKalb County. Um, after we moved here, we continued to go back to that church. We, we loved that church. And, um, but I made the, I made the decision um, after Amelia, my youngest, Amelia was born, that we needed to go to a church here in the community. So that, and I had heard about Zor through, mainly through some of Tom's friends um, at Annistown Elementary, through their parents, through his friend's parents. And when you first came, or one of the few times, or first few times you came, what memory stayed with you from um, coming to Zor? Well, I, I liked seeing people that I recognized from, from Anastown Elementary. Um, and I remember the music. I remember the music. The Nada um, um, Clements was the music director, and it was... Um, the music was good. It was very different than our previous church, which had been you know, large, traditional uh, choir music. You know, excellent music, but but Nada, you know, had um, I don't know a different take on things. It was a little more contemporary. It was more varied, and I really enjoyed her music, and also enjoyed Bill Kennedy's sermons. They made a lot of sense to me. Well, that's good. And what is unique about Zor to you? Well, one thing that's unique about it is, is how old it is. Um, it's you know it's amazing, two hundred and ten years old. I mean that's I mean how many churches can say that? Not very not very many. Um, especially you know it, it made it through the Civil War and and, and all that stuff. So um, I, I think I think that makes it unique. And were you raised in the church, or was there a special memory about knowing that religion and Christianity were important to you and your family that you'd like to share? Um, no, I don't really want to talk about how I was raised. It's not appropriate in this in this <laughs> in this context. But, but I did want you know once I had children, um, I wanted to. Um, uh, raised my children in a Christian church, and uh, Steve was raised as a Presbyterian, and you know he, his mother had been raised as a Methodist before that, and um, it was important to us to bring our children up in a in a, in a church. Uh, let's see here. What do you tell friends and family about Zor United Methodist Church? Um, that it's um, you know. An important part of the community it, you know it, it work there's a lot of mission work local mission work done here there's mission work done overseas um, would you just say it's mission-minded and I, yeah I, I think it is mission-minded yes yes and out of all the things in all the years you've been here since 1996 name a couple of favorite events or programs or groups that you enjoyed and your family enjoyed? Okay, for me personally, one of my favorite groups is recent. It's this Tuesday night Bible study that Rick Wood lead, leads. Uh, I forget how long we've been meeting now, a couple of years, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it is probably the most important group to me uh, since I've been a part of Zor. Well, tell me about it. What do y'all study or talk um, about? Well, we've, we've done all kind of, um, we've read all kind of different books. Um, you know, looking at the Bible maybe from a little bit different point of view, a little bit different perspective. Um, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy looking at things a little, you know, a little differently. 
um, not in the you know the same old traditional way. And um, I think people in this group have grown to be very comfortable with each other, and we're you know for the most part able to you know express our feelings and not feel judged and um, uh, just be open with one another and, and real and authentic. And that's that, important. Yeah, it's very important. And has something, I mean, has God put something on your heart that God, sh let me rephrase that. Has God put something on your heart that Zor should look to improve or a new program or anything that you think Zor should look into? Uh, <laughs> boy, that's, uh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, you know, I think Zor has got to continue to look outward. I mean, to look outward into this community and not to always be thinking and talking about what happened in the past. There's lots of good memories here, but we've got to put that in the past and and think about now and and, and the near future and uh, bringing in new people and making them feel comfortable and a part of the church. Now that's true, and then maybe with these recorded history things, mm -hmm. we can learn from that, that we'll have our history. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that is all the questions I have. Is there anything else you'd like to say or special memories or anything? Um, well, it's been, you know, um, I guess, I'm, let, me, let me go through my children. Uh, with, with my oldest daughter, Grace, um, I think, uh, some of the most important years here for her were, were when Mary Wolf was uh, the youth pastor. You doing the Bible babes and yes, the Bible babes and uh, just the youth group at that point. She she really enjoyed it and I think got a lot a lot out of it during those years. Um, I'm not sure that everybody felt that way, but that's the way that's the way we felt. So mm -hmm. that that's important. Uh, Tom, um, he well. Tom enjoys lots of things. He enjoyed everything from the beginning, the children's ministry, the Sunday school, uh, the, the other kids that were his age here. Then there were, at, in the beginning especially, there were quite a few, um, or quite a few boys that were, and girls that were his age. Uh, the, the various youth leaders, he, you know, uh, had good relationships with all of them. Todd and Brian and, um, I forget who all was here. Um, Mandy, mm -hmm. you know, he he really um, enjoyed, and, and Mary Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, he enjoyed all of them and got something from all of them. Uh, he enjoyed doing some playing of music here, and that you know, a little bit, a little bit in the praise band. I remember that. Yeah, he, he that was important to him. He he, he really enjoyed that. Um, he enjoyed the ski trips that that. Uh, the youth went on several times. And of course, he said he lives in Colorado now, and skis, you know, <laughs> all went along. Um, Amelia, she, I'm gonna have to go way back for her, but um, she really loved Andrea Nelson as the. Um, She's preschool or the children's. She director? was the children's uh, ministry mm -hmm. person and started the puppet ministry. Right. And. Um, Amelia really, really liked her, and she, Amelia also really liked those those uh, vacation Bible schools we did way back um, that were like a marketplace mm -hmm. and, and all that. I mean, she she has distinct memories of that. She was very young. She remembers Bill Kennedy going around uh, as the old beggar, you know, through, throughout the the market, and um, she really enjoyed she really enjoyed all that. So. Um, all of them, I think, went through uh, confirmation here, and um, I think it was. I I think that you know this church did a good job with that. Um, I think especially when Tom was going through, there was a large group of kids his age, and um, there was a, a good um, um, structured class set up during that time, and. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, for the other two, it was good too. But um, I mean, that, that, those are important. Yeah, very. Th those are all important things, mm -hmm. and um, that's some of the things that I remember. Well, good. Well, I appreciate your time, and I thank you, and I'll be talking to you again. Okay, great. Now you're—is this gonna be?